my name is Darren Blair. This is a voice test. It's using the first two pages of script from episode one of the original Flash Gordon series. Presenting for the first time on radio, the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon and Dale Arden. These thrilling adventures come to you as depicted each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, now printed in 32 tabloid-sized pages, each page in full four colors, is distributed everywhere as part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Racing high above the Earth, comfortably seated in a giant airliner, Flash Gordon, internationally famous athlete, looks admiringly across the aisle at Dale Orton, the lovely young companion of his air voyage. The minds of both are intent on the terrible destruction which for many months has been approaching the Earth with terrific speed. The new planet, hurtling through space directly in the path of the Earth. Suddenly, there's a violent jar. The plane lurches into a nosedive. Flash Gordon's trained muscles carry him across the aisle to the frightened girl to gather her in his arms in the leap tree of the falling plane. Pulling the ripcord of his parachute, the paraglides to Earth. Don't be frightened, Dale. The plane has crashed, but we're safe. Yes, thanks to you. Now hold fast. We're landing. Now, careful. Easy. <clears throat> Are you alright, Dale? Yes. Good. Oh, look, Flash, there's a large steel door. It's closing. Why? That's the laboratory of the great scientist, Dr. Han Zarkov. He's coming this way. I'll call him to help us. Dr. Zarkov! I hope you'll pardon us for breaking in and you so unceremoniously, Doctor, but you see, we had to bail out. I see you for what you are. Spies, come to steal my secrets. But I have the answer for that. Come with me! Put that gun away, Professor Zarkov. The man is mad, Dale. We'll have to humor him. All right, Professor, all right, we'll come with you. Get down this ladder, into this tower. Down, I tell you. All right, all right. There now, we are in my rocket ship, and in ten seconds we will be on our way to the new planet. We will all die. Die for science. <laughs> no flash, the doctor is mad. This rocket ship is breaking away from the Earth at the speed of light, right into the path of the new planet. Hold tight, Dale. We'll escape somehow. To the new planet. Ha <laughs> ha. The new planet. We three will save the Earth. Dr. Zarkov, there's still time to swing your rocket ship out of the path of the new planet. No! No! Ha ha ha! What will we gain for science if we're all killed in the crash? I know who you are, Flash Gordon. The world's greatest athlete. But your trained strength will not save you, only my mind. The mind of Zarkov, the scientist, can save you. Can save any human soul on Earth. The turbo drive! He's reaching for the controls! Stand aside, Dr. Zarkov. Ha! Feel it! The gravitational pull of the new planet! We crash in five seconds! A rocket ship hits the planet. Dr. Zarkov and Dale are thrown from the rocket ship unconscious. Flash is thrown clear of the wreckage and lands on his feet uninjured. He rushes to the side of the unconscious girl, picks her up, and starts to bear her toward the distant towers of a city on the third new planet. Suddenly, strange soldiers armed with ray guns appear, and capturing Dale and Flash force him to come within to the throne room of being the Merciless, Emperor of Mongo and Supreme Ruler of the Universe.